and and I agree with with Joy in that you know if you look at the this election, progressive incumbents in swing districts overwhelmingly won re-election, and also these progressive I, people you know that are calling them progressive ideas or socialist ideas, those ideas won convincing victories across the country, and, and so really I think that this administration needs to reflect those views because America has spoken. Those are the views that uh, right. America supports, not this sort of conservative right-wing uh, uh, agenda. Welcome back, everyone. Today, I have another embolism-inducing clip from that hell pit of harpies that I like to call the spew. But first, just give me 30 seconds for a quick capitalism break to tell you about this special offer from Noble Gold. If you're anything like me, you're wondering what's going on with these markets. Right now, they're all over the place and nobody knows what's happening. Will they grow or come crashing down? One thing's for sure, Gold has kept people safe for thousands of years through war, national disaster, and financial troubles. That's why Noble Gold is inviting you to get safe with gold this time. They're gifting a solid 24 karat American Gold Eagle coin and a spectacular display case with every qualifying IRA or 401k started before the end of November. No call centers, no sales pitch, straight through to the experts who will give you your options. So go to www www.noblegoldinvestments.com and get this special coin offer. Or you can call 877-646-5347. Well, the progressives have very good ideas and the American people agree with the progressive ideas. No, 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 no. Progressives don't have good ideas. They have long failed bad ideas that they're bringing back now because they think this time they'll do it without murdering millions of their own people. I really just think it boils down to two things, making the country dependent on government and bribing people for votes. Now throw in Democrat party state media Marxist universities indoctrinating generations, big tech censorship, and you have a recipe for one party communist rule forever. Uh, allocation of funds, I would think, if, if presented correctly, and not that you defund the police, but that you reallocate funds so that you have social workers and other important people dealing with, uh, with, with problems like that. And... Um, First off, you gotta love this constant left-wing media spin about policies that are clearly not popular with the vast majority of the public. For example, defund the police. She spins the defund the police movement as just wanting to hire social workers to deal with the problems. Yeah, I'm really sure that social workers are gonna do a great job against insane people with weapons. I mean, my guess is as this program fails, we'll just never hear about it. We see this exact same kind of media spin when it comes to the Democrats and socialism. Like Alison Camerata at CNN says, Socialists, do you think the Democrats are making a mistake tactically, because you're a strategist, of allowing themselves to be branded as socialists, not coming up with some sort of new name? <laughs> These people are just lying when their mouths move. Everything they say is a deception. And and I agree with with Joy in that you know if you look at the this election, progressive incumbents in swing districts overwhelmingly won re-election. And also these progressive I, people you know that are calling them progressive ideas or socialist ideas, those ideas won convincing victories across the country. And, and so really, I think that this administration needs to reflect those views because America has spoken. Those are the views that uh, right. America supports, not this sort of conservative right-wing uh, uh, agenda. And this is exactly what I'm talking about. What Hostin doesn't mention is that the socialists lost a bunch of their propositions in progressive California. She doesn't mention the Democrats freaking out over losing so many congressional seats, many of them admitting that socialism and defunding the police cost them a lot of seats in this election. Andrea Mitchell, one of the many media personalities that have unfortunately praised Fidel Castro, was mad that socialism memes have hurt Democrats. Mark my words, that's gonna be the narrative 
going forward. That anytime you hear anybody call Democrats a socialist, a Marxist, or a communist, that's just disinformation. It's already happening. Just notice how much criticism and scrutiny of Democrats is being labeled right-wing conspiracy theories or disinformation. It's like I say, the only legitimate scandal is one involving the Democrats' political opposition. You'll never see anybody in the DNC media ever label attacks against Republicans, left-wing conspiracy theories, or disinformation. We should just call them out for what they are, socialists, Marxists, and communists. That's all for this episode. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button, share, and subscribe. If you'd like to support this channel, you can do so using one of the links in the description or pinned comment. Thanks for watching. Keep coming back.